Hey everybody, Pilot Gaming here, and I'm back with another Let's Play Adele. This is part three of playing the new Maple Story M character. Just gonna go ahead and claim some stuff, see what I can get. Man, there's so many different events and so many different things to claim. Everybody should definitely be uh, ramping up their damage at this point with the amount of stuff we're getting. Hope everybody had a happy new year. Hope this year's already off to a great start. I know mine's going pretty well. I can't complain. All right, let's go ahead and ramp up some of my auto battle time. Still haven't figured out the order or rotation that I want to use for these skills. So for the time being, I'm just using them separately, kind of getting more of a feel for this character. Now I'm making quite a bit of growth on my main arc character. This one's pretty fun. It could be a nice alternative account. Still haven't made up my mind on that yet. I'm super torn. I wish I could see more damage output for the shade. I kind of want to keep everything in the knuckle weapon category. But also, you know, damage really depends on the gear that you have and how high your uh, damage is on the character. Just running some dailies, gonna get some good XP from this. When we clear dailies, we get a ton of experience. This is super great for all levels. Uh, you definitely wanna make sure that you're doing this daily just to get those little bumps in XP. I know it's seemingly not good at upper levels. I know I'm 196 right now on my arc and the growth is agonizingly slow. I just can't wait to get to level 200 and start working uh, with my um, V skills. Definitely gonna be super fun when I get into that. A lot more damage output, more potential for bossing and hopefully I will be uh, up there in the damage category and brought into some more CRA so I can ramp up my gear. If anybody knows a good guild out there that's running CRAs and is okay with a level 196 arc with 5.4 million damage range, um, I would gladly accept. A lot of the guilds that they're recommending are the ones that you can search up. Uh, just They have a low average level and none of them are really doing CRA or even having a discord to chat about it or set up times for groups. And that's definitely something that I used to get a lot into when it came to Maple Story PC when I used to play that game. It was super fun. Great guilds. Got into a couple of really good ones. I remember Boss Patrol. That was a fun one, especially when Bigfoot was a thing for uh, XP grinds. Always selling the Bigfoot leeches. And if anybody stepped in or tried to ruin it, Boss Patrol was on the scene. But Maple Story M kind of lacks in the guild aspect. It's very much so if you don't find the right one, you are a solo player. And then your grind is just super slow. It's very difficult to gear up when you're doing it on your own and you just don't have the damage output to handle these chaos bosses. Now granted, yeah, you can get some random level 244 phantom that's going to carry randos through it. But then you also don't get the complete run. You get random bosses. Some you have more coins for than others. And it's very difficult to get your CRA gear, which is pretty close to end game gear. Uh, you definitely want to go for the Absol Lab, you know, Chaos, but it's a very good stepping stone, and I hope to have my gear here relatively soon. Man, the range on this character's skills is pretty insane for it being, you know, warrior-based, uh, as well as the uh, AoEs that persist and last for quite some time. It's just wonderful. I don't know. I guess we'll see where I fall. Uh, I do know that uh, later this year, uh, uh, or from what I've heard rumors of, that uh, Cygnus Knights are actually going to get revamped here soon. And that's going to possibly push me into wanting to play a Thunderbreaker as an alternative character that I'm trying to, you 
you know, push into the 200s and being able to do all the bosses and so on and so forth. And the more characters you get into that situation, the easier it is for you to ramp up and really push new characters to a just ungodly potential right after creation. I mean, for example, just imagine you have 12 characters, all 12 can do, you know, the CRA weekly. That's an insane amount of potential. After 12 weeks, you can have 12 new characters that are fully ramped up and geared up to be able to do CRA weekly as well. It's definitely a goal of mine. Definitely want to carry people through these things. Uh, But for the time being, I'm just a noob. Not able to handle much. Damage range is high, but definitely not as high as some of the people that I've seen playing this game. So I'll continue to work on my Adele and other alternative characters until I figure out which one's going to stick and which one I can start the agonizingly slow grind to level 200 as well for that character. And hopefully by that time I'm geared up on my arc and I have some reserve of coins to where I can gear up the next character fairly quick. Uh, But the way it's looking, uh, I still got at least five more weeks to get all the gear for CRA. And then I have to look into getting the gear again. So that's another 12 weeks. So we're looking at 17 weeks before I even have a good footing in it. But thus far, I'm loving the Adele character. Um, definitely going to go ahead and start up some auto battle here in just a few. Get that grind going. See how far I can push this character. Alright. So, again, thanks everybody for watching. It's greatly appreciated. I gotta get back to the fam. But... Definitely going to have some more progress coming and definitely going to have some more videos coming at a faster pace. My new Morton's getting older and I think I'm going to be able to manage this a little easier. Uh, But as always, again, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Love you guys and peace out.